Hey guys, Matt Coleman here with Digital Marketer. Today, we're gonna to talk about creating your first YouTube advertising campaign. All right, guys, so now we're gonna run you through how to create your first YouTube advertising campaign. So the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is you want to create an AdWords account. And I'll be sure to include this link in the description box below, but you wanna to go to google.com forward slash AdWords forward slash get dash started. Once you create your account, you're going to enter into the AdWords dashboard. So here we are in our AdWords dashboard and yours will look a little bit different because you will have no campaigns created. But what we wanna do is we wanna scroll down here to the bottom left where it says all video campaigns. I'm gonna click on this button. And so now we are inside the video portion of our AdWords dashboard. And what we'll wanna do is we'll wanna click on this create new campaign button. Now we are ready to set up our video campaign. So the first thing that we're gonna to wanna to do is we want to give it a name. So we'll go and call this test campaign one. You'll also wanna choose the type. We've selected video, so we'll go ahead and leave it at that. If you have another campaign that has settings that you want to load, you can click right here and choose that campaign for the to attach those settings. For our budget, I'll go ahead and set this to a budget of $10, but you could select whatever you're comfortable with. For the delivery method, this is where you can choose if you either wanna have them standard, meaning that it will show your ad evenly throughout the day, or accelerated, meaning it'll show your ad as quickly as possible. For the networks, you could choose to either have your ad show up for people who are searching for specific keywords, or if you wanna have it over the YouTube network, as well as over the YouTube and Google Display Network. For the locations, you, this is where you can choose where you wanna have your ad shown. I'll go and select the United States and Canada. If you want to specify languages, you could choose to have, you know, various languages that your ad would be acceptable for. This is where we can plug in our YouTube ad. So I'm going to go and go to YouTube and I'm going to grab one of our videos. Now I'm going to paste this into here. And now it'll show me if we want to have our ad for either in stream or in display or both. For this example, I'll go ahead and choose in stream, which will be the ads that show before you're watching other people's content. For the destination URL, I'll go and put in digitalmarketer.com. And now I'll go ahead and scroll down to the devices. So if you'd like, you could have your ad show up on mobile devices, or you could choose to decrease it by 100%, meaning they will not show on mobile devices. As of now, in-stream ads do not work on mobile devices to click over to your landing page, so I'll go ahead and decrease this by 100%. You could also specify if you want to have it show up over certain carriers or certain types of mobile devices. For the ad scheduling, this is where you could choose a start and an end date. I'll go ahead and leave that to an end date of none and a start date of today. For the ad delivery, this is where you could choose to optimize for views, meaning if you have multiple ads, it'll show whichever one will be predicted to have the highest viewership. You can also optimize for conversions, meaning which ad will be best optimized for the conversions that it has uh, that it has recorded. Or you could choose to rotate evenly, meaning it'll rotate between your various ads so that we could get a better understanding of your split test. For the frequency, this is where you could choose to have your ad limited to the amount of times that it's showing to an individual. I'll go ahead and put mine to three impressions per week. You could also choose on a per day or per month basis. Now I'm gonna click on save and continue so we can go to our targeting options. Now we are able to define a targeting group. For the targeting group, I'll go ahead and name this one keyword since we'll be targeting people who are looking at videos with specific keywords in this example. Now we're going to set our bidding. The bidding is based off of an auction basis, so you'll be competing against other people for specific keywords. For now, I'll go and set mine to 15 cents per view, but you will want to go back and optimize this based off of how many views you're getting or a lack of viewership that you're receiving. For the targeting, we could choose to specify specific demographics. So you could choose different age brackets, different genders, or if they're parents. You can also specify users' interests. But what we want to do is we're going to narrow our targeting. And we want to narrow it down to keywords. Though so you could also choose topics that people are interested in, remarketing lists if you have those set up using either AdWords remarketing or your Google Analytics, as well as placements if you want to have your videos shown on specific videos. We're going to select keywords. Now we'll enter in some of our keywords that are relevant to our offer. So I'll go and type in digital marketing and I'll add that over. I'll also select online marketing. And then it will also present some related keywords down here. So just as an example, I'll go and select online marketing consultant. Once you click on done, 
it'll show you up here your predicted budget spent as well as how many views you could expect and the average cost per view. Now we'll just click on save our targeting group and you will have your first video campaign created. You could then monitor the success of this campaign using the AdWords dashboard. Are you interested in having our ultimate digital marketing toolbox? We have a PDF download with 17 of our ultimate digital marketing toolbox resources that you can get by clicking right here. Also, be sure to leave a comment, like this video, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more helpful videos just like this one. I'm Matt Coleman with Digital Marketer, and thanks for watching.